Hey guys, Bingo Cat here. Today I'm going to show you guys a video where I'm going to show you a way to be able to play any video file format you want on an Android phone. Now, unlike iPhones, the great thing about Android is that, let's say you have a weird video file format that, you know, most video players wouldn't play, like a .flv format, which stands for Flash Video Format, by the way. The thing about Android is, even though it doesn't usually doesn't come built in with a video player that's able to play it back, you can download one. Now, the program I'm going to download isn't just available for Android, but for Windows, Mac, Linux. There's even an iOS version available. On iOS, you can't play most video form, but let's ignore that. Anyways, on Android, so what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Play Store, and you're going to search for an app called VLC, just VLC Player. All right, now you're gonna choose the first one called VLC for Android. It is the best open source video music player, fast and easy. And you notice that listed under here, it supports MKV, MP4, AVI, Move, and etc. Believe me, it supports all uh, it, I mean, it says all formats are supported, and it doesn't just play videos, it can play audio files too. Now, VLC's been around a long time in, as far as tech term terms, I think since the early 2000s? So, it, it and has been only improving ever since. So, anyways, let's go ahead and install VLC for Android. Might take a minute. See, another awesome thing about VLC is that, let's say you have a large video form file on your computer, but you don't want to put it on your phone because of limited space. You can actually stream from your computer to your phone. But I can, maybe I'll make a different video with that in it. Anyways, once you have VLC installed, tap open. And... You notice how under videos here, it lists videos, it can list audio files, it can give you your file directories, and there's a stream option as well. In settings, it just allows you to do stuff like play videos in the background, which means if you just close the app, it will still play videos. And you can enable black theme, subtitles, choose a video screen orientation. Under interface, you can change your user interface, Heck, there's even developer options. And yeah, basically it is the it is the video player they get. It's like the Swiss Army knife of video players. And so there you go. You can now watch whatever video file format you want. You don't have to worry about converting anything. It will just work. It just all works. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys.